everyone, this is Tina here and welcome to my 13th vlog. Everywhere I go my shadow and follows behind Doesn't matter where I travel my shadow it finds me Something that I've come to realize after all this time I can't escape my shadow Toronto has been heating up a lot recently and it's really sunny and warm outside. It's a Saturday which means St. Lawrence Market is open and the goal for today is to check that out because I haven't been in a long time, at least two, three years since COVID. So I'm gonna go check it out. It's kind of late in the afternoon now comparing to, you know, when stuff are gonna be like most fresh, but I'll just go take a look, see what's going on there and um, yeah, I'm gonna meet my friend Naomi for dinner around that area as well. Oh boy. I think it's a good day for bike share. Just parked my bike. This is King and Church Street. I'm just gonna walk over now. Oh, the lemon lime. Lime. And then lavender. And then. Okay. I'm at Cafe Balzac. Let's see if there's spots. This is the drink that I got. Found a place to chill. Our baby gem and this is so pretty, it's so cute. I don't know the name. It's carbonara. And yolk, some kind of carbonara. You could tell you could but it's totally so cute. This it looks like something you can make. I know, but it, it looks like something you made. I can do that. Even the plate. Let me try it. Our burger is here too. It's sweet and it's good. Wow. Okay, how should I mix this up? Good meal, heading out now. So today I'm gonna attempt making this kind of pre-made shrimp tempura or breaded shrimp. I'm going 
어떤 생각 위로 불었지 빈틈도 없이 가득 파란 빨간 초록 물감으로 I had some of these basil left from the three cup chicken that I made previously, which I didn't record, but I'm gonna use it up today to try to make pad grab prow. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's like the Thai basil beef. So this is the slice of basil. I also prepared some garlic, ginger, and green onions. This is the beef mince. So I added all the ingredients and then for sauce I added light and dark soy sauce, oyster sauce, and some chili pepper sauce. <laughs> so here it is, my Thai basil beef. Looks pretty good. Of course I had to top it off with an egg. It's like 8 degrees outside, so pretty cold. It's actually not too dark, and I am going to get my bike. Hola, here we are, let's go. Just parked my bike in. Ta-da! Another sunny Sunday and I'm heading out to Lee restaurant which is an Asian fusion restaurant that I've always been wanting to try out. So let's go! Hello friends, we're at Lee restaurant. This is Annie, this is Yvonne. Super sunny today. I could escape but I could not transcend Found myself back in the same old place again Everywhere I go my shadow and follows behind Doesn't matter where I travel my shadow it finds me Something that I've come to realize that All this time I can't escape my shadow I can't escape my shadow There's 20 ingredients in oh, there. Oh, are you okay? Oh, don't you worry. Wow. <laughs> so pretty. It's so good, right? What's this? There's chili flakes on the lime? Yeah, so it's guajillo chili over the lime. Wow. I, I haven't tried chili on lime before. It's <laughs> That's really nice. At the top, we work our way down. At the top, we're going to have our edible flower petals with some crispy taro root. And then we kind of get to our first layer of ume dressing, followed by our julienne vegetables. So we have carrot, cucumber, tomato, pickled onion, pickled ginger, as well as some daikon, jicama. For some more texture, there's gonna be crispy vermicelli noodles, as well as some crispy lotus roots, roasted peanuts, sesame. We have some five sprouts. We have basil, shisho, daikon, uh, sorry, coriander, and basil. And then we're also going to be tossing that in the bottom layer, which of our my dressing, which is that salted ginger plum. Something that I've come to realize I've shrimp here for you. Oh, I can't escape my shadow. There's shrimp in it. Shrimp and a lot of like different kind of peas, carrots and stuff. Tofu. Ta-da! Here's my lettuce cup. On the base is going to be our green coconut curry, also our spinach and senior sauce. Around the side is going to be the chili McChubby. Uh, I'm here to meal prep, but I wanted to show off this huge, I don't know, scallion or leek. It's so big. <laughs> Here's the beef brisket. Added 
all the necessary ingredients in. So I clean out the foam a little and now we can add some sauces in like light and dark soy sauce. With this, we'll just turn to low heat and go for hours. I forgot to show the final product of the beef, but it was good. Um, this is another meal prep that I do a lot. It is pork ribs with those Chinese snack peas. Doesn't look the best, but it tastes so good. I watch you breathe. Lastly will be my favorite braised chicken. One of my go-to meal preps too. So after all the sauces and that the color is there now, you can add hot water and let it stew. After around 15 to 20 minutes, you can turn the heat to max and just let it absorb everything here. I normally like to add some onion just to taste. Dun dun!